YouTube. Um, it's Monday the 6th of July. Um, I'm here to carry on reading some of the Adventures of the Dish and the Spoon. So last week you wrote your own ending because we stopped the story at the part where the dish, uh, the, excuse me, the spoon cried, stop, untie the dish. I screamed, I've got a plan. So I'm looking forward to receiving all of your stories and having a read of those to see what you think happened next and what happens in your version of the ending. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read, read the story again and then I'm going to read on to the next part so you'll actually find out what happens in the story. I hope you're all excited. So, the adventure of the dish and the spoon. Someone put a record on the new record player. It was playing our tune. How could we resist? The dish whirled around on the moonlit ocean. I didn't know where we were going and I didn't care. I knew the dish would take us there. And we know now that they traveled all the way to New York. That's the Statue of Liberty. That's in New York. We tried our luck as an act in a traveling show. The audience loved us. We were famous. You can see, excuse the sun there, it's very bright. All the big crowds coming in to see the dish and the spoon. And yet, last week you made your poster to advertise their amazing show as well. Well done for that. The dish got a taste for the high life. We bought a motor car. The dish shopped for jewellery and furs. So the dish, remember the high life means got a taste for the expensive things. It doesn't actually mean a taste on your tongue. It means just like starting to buy these little bit expensive things. But soon our money was all gone. And I have read some amazing diary entries from people who um, sent them in to us. Um, and they told us all what they bought where they went for lunch, what they ate. They were wonderful, so well done. A gang of sharp and shady characters offered to lend us some. There we go, the sharp and shady characters. Sorry about my reading, it's quite hard to read upside down. We couldn't pay them back. They tried to frighten the dish. What could we do? And this is the part we got up to. Stop, untie the dish. I screamed, I've got a plan. So now let's see what the spoon's plan was. Oh, oh my goodness. No one will recognize us, I whispered. Just march into the bank and it will be over in no time. What do you think they're going to do? They've got these little masks around their eyes. Dish is carrying a bag. It says loot. Hmm. Just march into the bank and it will be over in no time. What do you think? Oh my goodness, look at Citibank. What's happening? What's happened? Can you see? Oh my goodness. Wanted. Have you seen these two dangerous criminals? Wanted for unarmed robbery at the city bank. Generous reward for their capture. Contact the police department with information. Oh, we were so foolish. Of course they recognised us. We'd appeared on posters all over the country. What posters had they appeared on before? That's right, it's the ones that you made last week. They were a big, famous duo, weren't they? The audience loved them, they were famous. And then they tried to rob the bank. 
Oh my goodness, were you expecting that? So that's where we're going to stop today. And what I would like you to do today is I want you to make your own wanted poster of the dish and the spoon. So this one here has only got a little bit of information. I'll read it again just so you get an idea of what you could write. Have you seen these two dangerous criminals? What kind of sentence is that? It's got one of these at the end. It's a question mark, so it's a question sentence. It's asking the reader, have, have you seen them? Wanted for unarmed robbery. Unarmed, that means they didn't have any, any weapons, they weren't doing anything like that. At the city bank, so we know the location. Generous reward. A reward is what you might give someone if they find something. For example, in this instance, if someone tells the police that they know where they are, they might get a reward, they might get some money. Generous, that means it could be worth somebody's while. Generous reward for their capture. Contact the police department with information. So we've got a picture of them. We've got wanted we know that they're dangerous criminals. We know what they did. They robbed the bank. They know, we know what bank. And we know there's going to be a reward. And we know who to contact as well. So, today I want you to make your own wanted poster. This is quite a good example, but obviously I'd like a little bit more writing. So, on your home learning today, I've given you some ideas of things you can think about for your poster. So, I've written some down here, just like on the home learning. So, the first thing I've written down here that you could, um, you need to include, because obviously it's your, uh, want people to see it and then they're going to try and contact the police about the dish and the spoon, is you need to give a description. Because if you just say, a dish and a spoon, rob the bank, Mm, it's not telling me very much, is that? It could be any dish or any spoon. So you need to think of ways to describe those, um, the dish and the spoon in this book. So I've put some adjectives here. I've got round, shiny, metal, metallic, cracked, because we know, um, well, round the edges, maybe not cracked. Maybe it's got more of like a design, actually. So you might say patterned. That would be a better one than cracked, actually. Patterned. Masks, because we know when they robbed the bank they wear a little mask, so black mask, and you can only see their eyes, so I've written beady eyes. Now these aren't in full sentences, these are just some adjectives, so you'll obviously need to write in full sentences. Um, the next part I've written here is last scene. So in that um, re uh, reward, that wanted poster, it told us what happened and where. So last scene, where were they seen, what were they doing, time, location. So you can think about those things. And they all link to the crime. So what did they do? How much money did they take? And the wanted poster in the story tells us they were unarmed, which is obviously good to know. And then finally, like in the story, we've got the reward. What is going to be on offer if someone contacts the police and gives them some information about the dish and the spoon? Um, what are the contact details? Who should they contact? So that is what I'd like you to do today. I want you to think about all of those things and I would like you to make a wanted poster. And if you're very happy with your one, we obviously would love to see your work. So please send, get mum or dad or grown up at home to send us an email with your work and that would be wonderful. And then tomorrow, not tomorrow, Tuesday, um, I'll be reading some more of the story for you to continue with your work. But for today, I'd like you to write uh, make a wanted poster don't forget to include description where they were last seen what happened what's the reward and of course we need a picture because that's really going to help people to be able to find these criminals okay hope you have a lovely day and enjoy your english work and have a great day bye